Okay. Let us see. First of the River Freedoms. Say what you will, I live free. It doesn't mean you won't get beaten up for what you say, though. Elena the Innkeeper. Hmm. Let me speak to the citizens. There has to- ooh. Zarsi. The tiefling girl looks like she is made of springs. She doesn't stand still for a moment, nodding her head, clicking her fingers, or tapping her foot to the melody only she can hear. Seeing you, she waves her hand quickly with a wild smile and starts jabbering. Your grace! Welcome! What do you want? Scrolls? I have them! You won't regret. My suppliers did bring even more scrolls for sale if you'll manage to attract even more mages to your lands. I can't read this. More mages, more demand, more goodies for you. So go build them libraries. We'll both profit from it. Who are you? Zerise the Letter Gobbler, at your service. The girl bows with a wide, wild, wide smile. Fuck. Best spells, charms, jinxes, and hexes for the best baron across the river kingdoms. Buy it all, don't b b uh, yup, not even gonna try. Where do your goods come from? A family business, I've got... A family business, I've got siblings all across Mendev. They pinch every, uh, I mean, they're really creative suppliers. And I sell it all. Get it now, don't hesitate, my goodies are... My goodies are great. Good god, this person is fucked up. Sure, sure, as you wish. Show me your wares. Oh, that's a stash. Well, no, there's nothing to sell. Oh, you sell scrolls, huh? How very useful. What do you want? Have a little chat? Alright, it's not like any we have anything better to do. Tell me about yourself. What is there to know? I was born, I'm alive, I haven't died yet. That enough for you? Do you remember your childhood? What a crap question! I was just a kid when they sold me. Before that, I don't remember much. Smoky fires, stinky hides, always bumping along on a horse. I think I was born in one of the Kelid tribes of Numeria. There are many. Some survive on their own. Some give up their pride and serve the Technic League. I guess mine was one of the cowards. If they sold their own kids. I remember my father's hands. Rough, scarred, white. So I guess I get this green skin from my mother. But I don't remember her. I think I remember playing with another half-orc child. A brother, maybe. For some reason, they didn't sell him. Just me. Father gave him his dagger to play with. Never gave it to me. Ugh. I don't want to remember. Forget all this. I'm an orphan. <laughs> I grew up a slave. That I remember well. So many things burned into my memory. Most of all, I remember her. My Octavia. Today we are almost the same age, but back then she was twice as young as me. Just a child, but a brave one, cunning, bold, and beautiful. The most beautiful girl in the world. What deity do you worship? Ha! I never got much help from the gods so far, but if you make me choose, I'd say Calistria. Who else could I worship? The savored Sting, the goddess of pleasure, fun, and revenge! Oh yes! Where did you get your magical powers? What magical powers the hells are you talking about? Oh, you mean these? <laughs> R Rigongar makes... Lightning run all over his hands with a contented smile, then snaps his fingers, invoking a shower of blinding sparks. I've had them since I was born. At least one thing I can thank my scum parents for. Maybe these powers are why they sold me to slavery. Think they were scared? Who knows? Damn Numerians. At the Technic League, they drew my blood, did experiments, burned me with fire, tortured me with cold, electricity, and they told me, you won't believe it! They told me I have blue dragon blood in my veins. Not bad, huh? I'm a dragon, you freaks. Come check my blood if you dare. Grinning, R Ragongar strikes his palms with a fist and another fountain of electric sparks shoots upwards. What do your tattoos mean? They are magical. They have been controlled my powers. They technically gave them to me. I'd hoped that somewhere on my body there was at least one sign left by my tribe. But no. I guess they didn't care to bother. To hell with them! 
They better hope I never find them. If I ever meet my father, I will leave in the score between us. How do you manage to use both a sword and magic and not cut off your fingers? Ha ha ha! Hmm, it's simple. I'm just that bloody good! Do you enjoy making people suffer? Pfft. Why should I care about their suffering? I do what I want. If I step on someone's toes, then they shouldn't have put themselves in my way. But chasing someone down just to torture them? That's only entertainment for maniacs like the Technically. Well, on second thought, ha ha ha, hmm. For them, I would make an exception. I'd love to watch as I fry them nice and slow. But why do you ask? Do my methods shock you? <laughs> oh. If you treat your enemies like that, what makes you better than them? And why would you think I want to be better? What does that even mean? I have no delusions of purity. I don't want to prove myself to my uh, to prove myself or my enemies that I'm to myself or my enemies that I'm better than them. Morally, spiritually, whatever. I just want them rotting in the ground so I can live, drink wine, and piss on their graves. You seem to not like people in power, so why are you helping me? What kind of idiot question is that? I'm not some some revolutionary from Galt. Burn the places, palaces, eat the rich power to the people. Bah! I don't care about all that. You were a decent lad and your band is alright. You killed the stag lord, took his place, even got yourself a title. You're a real winner! A kingpin like that is worth holding on to. Better than cooking up a revolution. Oh wait, I've got it! You're afraid I'm after your throne! Ha ha! Hmm, relax. I don't need your sodding power. I'm fine as a henchman. Just make sure that all your p that power of yours doesn't go to your head. You know how sometimes normal people get carried away and want to everyone to lick their boots? If you go that way, I won't lie. I'll walk away and take my Octavia with me. But you seem alright, so... The party goes on. Tell me about your life in Numeria! You mean my life as a slave? I didn't see much except for the slave barracks and the League's twisted laboratories. How did you happen to become a slave? I was sold by my own tribe when I was just a little brat. The half-orc clenches his teeth, then spits on the ground and steps on it with his boot. So I grew up in a slave barracks. I was raised to be sold like a battle animal. They tried to break me, but they picked the wrong brat! No matter how much you beat this animal, he only gets angrier! The half-orc punches himself in the chest and... Okay then, that's a little bit weird. Why did your masters teach you magic? Can't you guess? Because magic is in my blood. It's why they bought me. I wasn't raised as some lowly mop slave, but as a murder machine. I'd fetch quite a nice sum of gold. You might also ask if they knew I'd take the first opportunity to rip their own guts out. Using everything they taught me. Ha! Huh, of course they did, but that's the Technic League. They calculate risk. Octavia kept pretending to be simple-minded so they wouldn't expect anything of her. But I made every effort, though they didn't teach me much. But what is there to teach? It's not, a, it's not book, ma book magic, it's innate. They made me practice with my sword more, but I did my best in everything. I studied all I could. They knew they were raising an enemy, but they thought they could keep me on a short leash or sell me to someone with deep pockets so I'd become someone else's problem. But who won in the end, huh? Who is free? Who will bury them all? The half-orc makes an obscene gesture in the northwestern direction towards Numeria. What else did you see beyond your life in chains? Uh, what the fuck? Why did that keep happening? What could I have seen? Well, when we ran, we went through Starfall. That's a fine city. Big, loud, many merchants, things to see, things to steal. But I didn't have much chance to walk around. It's the very nest of the sodding Technic League. We were focused more on getting out alive. We met some barbarians. I asked them who might know what tribe I'm from. But they didn't know anything. I don't have any tribal tattoos, nothing. Actually, they are, they are all right. Well, some of them. The Blood Gars, for one, they're great. All the rivers are theirs. We sailed with them during one of our escapes. Almost all the way to Brevoy, and they didn't turn us in. But the White Scars got us after that. Those guys are shit. They've sold their pride to the Technic League. Oh, one more thing. One time, Octavia and I tried to escape and stumbled across a Numerian monster. I'll never forget it. A huge spider the size of a house, made of metal, spitting fire, shooting deadly rays all around. That thing could probably tear even a dragon to pieces. Ruined our escape plans, too. We had to go back. Did you and Octavia try to escape? What do you think? Of course we tried! I stopped counting how many times. 
jump from windows, dug tunnels, choked out gods, or seduced them. That happened too. Ha ha ha. Hmm. But those were- those dirtbags caught us every time. Every bloody time. My back is scarred with whip scars. Lucky we were prized property, they'd spent too much gold on us to kill us. Anyone else would be hung and forgotten. But they kept trying to break us and recoup their expenses. I don't know whether I could have survived by sheer stubbornness if it weren't for Octavia. I probably couldn't have. I would have just given up and died. But I had to pull my girl out of that meat grinder. And she... She believed in me and had hope enough for both of us. When I lay there with my back slashed to pieces, she wish whispered to me about the River Kingdoms, where there's no slavery, where everyone can go wherever they want and take whatever they want. I'll be damned, but I thought she was just making this up to keep our hopes alive. And now it turns out to be true! All of it! Every last word! No chains, no slaves, no laws, just live and be happy. Is slavery legal in Numeria? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. There are some laws against it, but even in Starfall, a third of the people live in bondage. And that's the capital! In regions where the Black Sovereign's hand doesn't reach, they hold to tribal customs instead of the laws. The barbarians don't keep slaves, instead they have thralls. Big bloody difference! And on top of that... On top of all that, the... On top of all that mess, fuck! There's the Technic League. Law and custom mean nothing to those slime balls. they just take whatever they want. Yeah. What kind of relationship do you have with Octavia? Well, my Octavia and I don't have a relationship, we have a life together. How did you meet? Back when we were children, we were taken as apprentices by a spellmaster, Janush. Maestro Janush, he called himself. He was our teacher. Well, he made Octavia read books and memorize spells. I have my own ma innate magic. He trained me a bit, taught me how to control my gifts so I wouldn't lose control and incinerate myself like a dumbass. Oh, teacher, we will meet again. There's one more test I must pass. But you were asking about my Octavia. We've been together all our lives. We learned everything together. How to weave magic and how to survive. And as we grew older, we learned how to love. Without each other, we would have never gotten out of there. That's for sure. We would have given up and surrendered to death, but together, that's a very different story. Not for the first time, and not the tenth, but eventually we made it out. Why do you call her yours? She doesn't seem to like that very much. My girl loves freedom so much, and even a slight chance of losing it frightens her. She is so smart. You really think she feels like I'm trying to make her mine like an apple stolen at a market? Me, who was skinned alive for trying to help her escape? She's afraid of the- if she's afraid of the word my, it's because she doesn't understand the difference between my boots and my heart. But she will understand, sooner or later. Are you and Octavia faithful to each other? Octavia and I are connected, and Octavia and I are connected. And this connection cannot be broken, we grew into each other, you know? Jealousy is for weak cowards who don't trust each other and are scared of being tricked. If a knight on the side threatens your love, that just means there was no real love there to begin with. She and I are together, to the end, and we will never part from each other. So when she likes some lad or lass, it's no drama to me. I just ask her whether she wants me to leave them alone or join in. And she does the same, haha! <laughs> what, are you judging us? Or maybe you just want to join us in our tent, hmm? Uh... Uh, that's super uncomfortable. Fuck a dwarf fucking an orc, that'd be weird. Sure, why not? Is that so? Haha, <laughs> hmm. Regengar measures you with an openly lustful look. I will think about it. Okay, I didn't expect that outcome, but sure. How do you like it in my party? I think it's grand! You have a fine gang of lunatics here. I myself am no noble from high society, haha. <laughs> But seriously, Octavia and I have never even dreamed of a leader like you. We imagined we'd sit in the in the woods and rob wagons, maybe join a band of mercenaries. But we never expected to become the henchmen of a local ruler. Not to mention such a pretty one. Good God. Uh, I thought you and Octavia were together. Wouldn't you be jealous? Octavia and I are connected, and this connection cannot. Be okay, yeah, that's just that's just the same thing. There's no, there's no need to be afraid of my Octavia's jealousy. But we have her tenderness. Not everyone can handle her. Okay. Uh. Good God. I'm joking, I'm joking. Or am I? We can discuss it later, another time and place. My God. That was some sexual tension if I've ever seen it.
What did you say when you were killing Kalana? What, oh that? Calistria's holy words, I stab thee with my heart. We say that when we get our vengeance. Those words make it so much sweeter. Sure. So long! If you want to know anything else, just ask. Don't be shy. Just don't go pale when I answer. <laughs> my god. The fucking characters in this game are so good. Cool. Oh, hey, harem. Hmm. Uh, have you ever regretted your decision to abandon Torag and start worshipping Grotus instead? You know what, before I start th this entire conversation tree, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because it's been an hour. I hope you guys enjoyed the sheer amount of talking that has happened in this video. Uh, please comment with feedback, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more! Ancient here, signing off.